Hello everybody, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch, and uh, today we've got some great Godot news coming up. Now, Godot added C-sharp support back with Godot 3.0, and I think it had to deserve a gigantic asterisk, because it wasn't fully complete, and most importantly, it didn't run on all platforms, specifically mobile. So you had no Android, and you had no iOS support. Well, the great news is, with the upcoming release of Godot 3.2, we will get Android support for C-sharp. So that is the announcement today. If you head on over to the Godot webpage, under the news section, you will find this article by at Ignacio, I apologize, I'm going to do my best here, Ignacio Roland uh, Echeverri, I guess. I'm sorry if I butchered that, but anyways, he has been adding C-sharp support on Android, and I do find this next little part a little amusing, because I know there's a lot of people out there that are big fans of Godot that aren't really huge fans of Microsoft. So I wonder how well this news is gonna go over. I personally, I, I don't have any animus against Microsoft. I, I think they're a pretty solid company compared to say, <coughs> Apple. <coughs> Anyways, um, in this dev blog, it says, in this dev blog, I will be able to talk about what I've been working on for the last two months. There are some nice new goodies coming for c -sharp users with Godot 3.2. Before starting, I would like to announce that this work is possible thanks to a generous donation of $24,000 by Microsoft. This grant will be used to fund my work on c -sharp in Godot for a year. This is the second time I have received a grant from Microsoft to work in Godot, and I am extremely grateful. So yes, there has been some major funding for Godot by Microsoft, which, you know, I'm cool with. Thank you, Microsoft. Anyways, C Sharp is now on Android. So up until now, Godot support scripting, supported scripting with C Sharp only on desktop platforms. Our plan has been to add support for other platforms over time, and Android has been by far the most requested. When it comes to overall feedback, not only about platforms, Android tends to be at the top of the list. Today, I'm glad to announce we have finally made it happen. Godot 3.2 will ship with support for exporting C Sharp games to the Android platform. The process of exporting for a game for Android with C Sharp is the exact same as you would use with GD Script. Godot will make sure to add all the assemblies and dependencies to the exported APK. No extra steps are required, and that is absolutely awesome. So export your game out to Android is the exact same as if you use GD Script or C Sharp, and that's how I like to hear it. On top of that, it supports all ABI Godot targets, uh, sorry, um, ABI Android targets. So that is ARM ABI, ARM64, x86, and x86 CP, um, 64 bit targets. Uh, currently, we only use JIT code with AOT support coming in the future. If this is too much acronym soup for you, JIT stands for just in time. It's basically your traditional byte code that is interpreted as it comes, uh, whereas AOT means ahead of time, and that's mostly used, it's the same as a compiled language such as C++. And the mostly main reason why you use AOT, AOT in this day and age for this kind of stuff is because JIT code is not supported on iOS. Speaking of iOS, well, where's the support? Support. Well, we'll get back to that. Um, if you can't wait for the 3.2 release, you've got to build it. They've got instructions on how to do that. I will show you that in just a second. I've created a repository with scripts to help with the process of building the mono runtime for Android. You can find it here. You may need to apply some patches to the mono repository in order to be able to build it for uh, the ARM and x86 uh, ABIs or newer NDK releases. What I would suggest is just wait for 3.2. The process is a bit of a pain in the butt. Now at the same time, they also did a rewrite of the module's editor code in C Sharp. Now this doesn't mean a whole lot if you're not working behind the scenes, but basically uh, it's all been C++ until now. And what they've done is they've started doing a lot of the actual code that the um, C Sharp implementation is implemented with using C Sharp itself. We'll look at some of that code in just a second. So if you wanna get behind the scenes, I'll show you where this actual new code is is, and you can check that out. So it's definitely a nice improvement on that side, and it's going to make plugins going forward much simpler to work with for the C Sharp language. And now a little bit about the future. The next step in the roadmap is integration with the Mono Develop IDE. More details will come in the next dev blog in a bit less than a month. You can expect much awaited features like debugging, and that's kind of an unfortunate missing feature. Right now, you cannot debug your C Sharp application seamlessly anyways. Um, as well as a better experience for opening files with this IDE. Currently, we use the command line with bad results. Thanks to the editor, the, the editor rewrite, that is this part here where they did redid it in C Sharp. Uh, let's go on back down here. Thanks to the editor rewrite, this will be a much easier task. If you're wondering about support for WebAssembly, which is HTML5 targets, and iOS or integration with Visual Studio and Visual Studio Code, don't fear, those are all on the roadmap. You can expect to hear more, more, them, add more about them in a month. And once again, I just, because I find this hilarious, do keep in mind that that roadmap is provided and paid for by Microsoft. So if you absolutely hate Microsoft, 
this news post is gonna be hard to deal with. So anyways, on top of that, here are the instructions for compiling with mono. Like I said, I would, um, I would just wait. To be honest, I think um, Godot 3.2 is going to be uh, very soon. We're going to start seeing builds for it soon. Uh, in this particular version, you've got to build some uh, glue code, etc. It's a bit of a pain. You know, in the grand scheme of things, it's not that much work, especially if you already are set up with scons and Python and all the things you need to build Visual, uh, sorry, yeah, Visual Studio, and to, to build Godot in the first place, then, you know, go for it. Really, this is the requirement right here, as long as you kind of stick to the norm, but then you got to build the export templates and the editor and so on and so on and so on. Like I said, I'm personally just going to wait for 3.2 and I normally jump in both feet and experiment with this kind of thing and I'm waiting. So anyways, that's my two cents on that one. And then finally, if you're interested in learning a bit about where all of this stuff is, what he's talking about when he's saying rewriting the editor portions in C Sharp, I can point you towards where you need to look. So we are now at the Godot GitHub. So Godot Engine is the repository. Godot, sorry, I guess Godot Engine is the account. Godot is the repository. Just head on over to GitHub forward slash Godot Engine forward slash Godot. And where you want to head is to modules. Inside of modules, you want to go to mono. Because that's the cool thing is all of this is implemented as a module or a plugin into the Godot Engine itself. And you'll notice here is your traditional stuff here. So you've got... Um, various things going on, but what you're most interested in is jumping into editor. And you see, you got a lot of CPP files going on, and, and but you're seeing here, rewrite mono module editor code in C Sharp. And that's where Godot Tools comes in. Click down here, go in here, and you will see the new editor. So the Godot editor sharp code is down here. So if you want to see the code that is handling all this stuff behind the scenes, that is where you start looking. So basically just head into the uh, editor, the Godot tools, your various projects are down here, but most of the new C sharp code appears to be right here. So that is it. That is the announcement that um, C sharp support is now on Android. Thanks to a grant from Microsoft and the work from Ignacio. Thank you, Ignacio. Sorry about butchering your name if I did so. And uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think. Were you waiting on, and I know a lot of people are thinking, okay, Godot 3.0 is here and so is C Sharp. And it didn't really turn out that way, but we're getting closer and closer to C Sharp being a first class language in Godot and a real viable alternative to GD script. It already sort of is, as long as you were doing desktop only. But you can see here, we've got uh, both Android and then at some point in the future, WebAssembly and uh, iOS plus integration to various different compilers all being supported with C Sharp. And when that day arrives, that's the day you can really honestly say that Godot supports C Sharp. And the nice thing is some of the stuff that they've done under the hood, uh, this kind of rewrite here of the modules editor and so on, the refactoring that was behind that should make this entire process cleaner and easier going forward. So it's win, win, and win. And if you've been waiting for C Sharp support on Godot, as long as you don't care about iOS or HTML5, looks like 3.2 is your place to be. And then hopefully not too far off into the future. He's done some great work here. Seems like he is well funded by Microsoft in general. So this seems to be a definite progress. So let me know what you think. Were you kind of turned off by C Sharp support because it didn't support those mobile platforms? Do you not give a damn about C Sharp at all? And I'm also kind of wondering to those of you out there that just absolutely hate Microsoft. Is this changing your opinion at all? Or, or are they still the greatest evil on the planet? I'm curious to hear all of those things. Comments down below. And I'll talk to you all later. Goodbye.